So to begin, before we begin with the actual Beatitudes, I'm going to read something that's a publication from the Kaboris Codex Foundation. What this is, is it's speaking of <coughs> prison system, the Albany, Georgia prison system in the late 60s, early 70s, and they wrote about a course that they had developed from the Aramaic teachings of Yeshua called, at that time, Emotional Maturity Instruction, now called Laws of Living, taught by my friend Dr. Michael Rice at the Heartland Aramaic Mission, which is in Missouri. Missouri. It says here, the first formal course, Emotional Maturity Instruction, was prepared in late 1967 to heal, using the words of Yeshua, the ailing minds of hardcore felons at Georgia's mm -hmm. maximum security prison. This was done at the request of Judge Asa D. Kelly, Jr., seeking to reduce the rate of return of criminals to prison. Judge Kelly, then Director of Corrections for Georgia, was a true disciple of Yeshua. They did tests, and what they did in these tests was they were monitoring people before the test, during, and after, and trying to figure out what the return rate, the reciprocity rate of who was going to come back with and without the test. Without the, uh, the course, excuse me, this Aramaic course. It says, improved understanding of the higher law and the meanings of the words which express it proved to be of great and lasting benefit in the lives of these subjects. Surprisingly, the benefits increased as time passed after completion of the course. So after people had finished the course, things kept getting even better and better for them. It didn't stop once the course ended. Now here it gets really interesting. The psychological tests indicated a 37% return to prison was expected after the first course. The actual rate proved to be only 10% after five years of freedom, in contrast to the normal return rate of 96% wow. without. So they expected that 37% of these people would come back within one year. <clears throat> they expected it to drop from 96 to 37% in one year's time but it actually proved to be only 10% after five years. So they thought it would drop from 96 to 37 in one year, but it actually went from 96 to 10 over the course of five years, which is phenomenal. Now, I don't mean to sound cynical, but what was the next thing they did? Got rid of it. They got rid of it. You know, and it's immediate when I ask that question. Yeah. Um, Can't make money when there's nobody there. <laughs> unfortunately, the course was quickly removed by the prison system by the state's political authorities when the obvious success of the program became apparent. No, that's not rehabilitative. Yeah, we shouldn't because well, we, we need to. Yeah. Yeah, punish. <laughs> so what did they cite? They cited something. Church, church and state. state. They, the separation of church and state. Mm. We're not all cynical or anything. No. The separation of church and state was cited as the reason, but it begs the question, had the course not been so successful and the prison officials' jobs not have been threatened, mm -hmm. as the success of the program certainly did, would it have been removed? So as a result of the program being dropped, Director Kelly, the judge, resigned when forced to return to feudal and antiquated procedures after finding a healing modality that actually worked to rehabilitate the criminal mind. More prison cells were built in the year 2001 in the United States of America than in all other years in the entire history of our country combined. More in that 12 month period than in our entire history combined. Hmm. And they're just getting more and more. We're getting more and more. And there's, there's things that go into that such as with contractors, uh, there's a lot of financial things that go into it. Of course, it's not a simple thing either. But unfortunately, we're getting into this place where we can so easily talk about what's wrong and forget what's either what's going right or understanding that as a structure begins to basically disintegrate and fall apart, <clears throat> that needs to happen in order for something new to come through.